Hey there, so today we have another review. This is a beer from, uh, what is it, Hidden Springs, right? There we go, uh, uh, out of Tampa. Uh, this is their The Lovers. Did I see, I saw something similar to this maybe I visited a year ago, but this is their Imperial Stout with strawberries, cream cheese, and vanilla. Interesting. Uh, 10%, 20 IBU. Okay, let's go. 22 ounces, no. So this label, was made for something that is not this. This is a 16 ounce can, obviously. Uh, they had a bomber at some point and they put the label on a bomber, but now they have extra labels. I guess they um, put it on a beer. Um, I don't know if it, maybe, I don't know why they would do that, but anyway, who knows. Uh, this was canned about two months ago. They had the canning date at a very weird place. For some reason, the canning is on here uh, instead of the bottom of the can. No clue why. Uh, great way to, I mean, I don't know, who cares? As long as it's visible, right? It's actually not that visible because the, it's getting scratched off already from, I guess, who knows, condensation, all that good stuff. So a very extremely dark beer, very pretty beer. I mean, it says as dark as you can go. Uh, really wonderful dark tan head on that guy. Uh, carbonation sort of rises up. So we see there's a good amount of residual sweetness in the sky. Um, yeah, looks good. Ooh, uh, first thing if you get vanilla, Strawberries, it's very pastryish, very desserty. Uh, yogurt, there you go. I, I smell um, vanilla, sort of. Oh, that's what <laughs> my daughter eats. Uh, this kind of strawberry uh, vanilla yogurt that we get at Walmart. So it's 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 definitely got some amount of uh, some kind of sweetener in it, um, but vanilla strawberry. That's exactly what it smells like. And I actually don't even get the stout part. So sweet, confectionery, kind of like. Strawberry vanilla notes. Very good vanilla notes. As, as I smell more, it smells like more like a little bit more like a plump uh, strawberries that you sort of get in your yogurt. So like not only the pink stuff, but also what you get, you know, the bottom yogurt thing where you have to like pick up the bottom of the, uh, the yogurt and you actually get like pieces of actual strawberry in there. Very nice, a fragrant red kind of notes. Very nice. I actually do like that. I actually don't have it too cold, probably a little too cold for this guy, but um, on the palate, yeah, uh, follows. Pretty nice. It is quite um, delicate for a 10% beer coming out of Tampa. Obviously, we're in the angry chair realm. Mm. So as the aroma is that sweet, it actually is a little bit pushed back on the palate. Um, you also get like a nice chocolatey tone, but it's actually not that harsh. Uh, the flavors are not that chocolatey, not too intensely espresso-y. It's just a nice pretty stout that if you weren't paying attention, you might've guessed it was eight, but we're sitting at 10. We might've guessed it was seven, but it's 10. Hmm. Pretty good. And they go cream cheese with that guy. Hmm. So with all these crazy ingredients, I feel some, sometimes breweries do strange things that really make the beer uh, seem off-putting and and you know funky and like you know like wow this is like got this really like white but you know like if you imagine um, if they threw some kind of actual I don't know what they used uh, what they use tastes pretty good and looks pretty good if they threw some kind of actual cream cheese product in here um, you can imagine it being gray because like white and black kind of like contrast and you know. It's a pretty nice stout first and foremost, with this pretty like pink and red strawberry flavors with it. And the the vanilla, what, like what? The vanilla sits at a good place, not tasting extract. And I don't taste this weird lactose cream cheese thing. Um, this elegance. And um, what Angry Share does so well is that they have elegance in the sense that they're punchy with the flavors, but their beers are really nice and drinkable. They're really thick boys and they're sweet and all that intense, but then you drink it, you're like, oh, that's really good. And like, they're not three ounce beer. They're like, maybe if you want to go nuts, like a six, eight ounce beer, right? Like this me is in that same realm. And so it's like, it's, Definitely not as thick as a Angry Chair beer, but the ingredients make sense and it's so drinkable. Like this is silly drinkable. 
And for some reason, uh, Rocco, my dog right here, wants to um, case pastries down. I don't know why he wants to do that. It's, he can't have this stuff, but. Wow, it's tasty. So this is what pastry stout honestly uh, does well. Um, for me, the barrel aged versions are the best, but then like when you make something that like elevates it from just Imperial stout, like, you know, it definitely is a different beer from Imperial stout and, or a different style from Imperial stout. And you know, sometimes I just want a big bitter bomb, but this like does something nice and pastry. And it's not the anchor chair way, but it's also so elegant and complex. It's, you almost taste the seeds of the strawberries here. You get a really nice kind of like plump, like um, dehydrated frozen strawberry thing and almost it bursts in your palate. And then I don't say it's a cream cheese, the vanilla is subtle and the stout just helps it sit there. So it has this really nice kind of like strawberry tart with a little drizzle of chocolate. That's a good, that's a good analogy. Yeah. It's a strawberry tart with the tartness and the plump strawberries with some kind of like chocolate drizzle on it. And it's not intensely bitter. It's not intensely chocolatey. The Imperial style doesn't dominate the flavors. It's not too lactosey and creamy and pastry-ish, you know. It's just it's a good place, yeah. Well constructed. This is, you know, this is where it hits. Well, uh, Untitled Art, uh, I think last beer I reviewed, um, just didn't quite hit for me. This makes sense. Like, this is very tasty, very, very tasty. Um, it's not gonna blow your socks off, but it, 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 again, looking for balance, elegance, and what does balance mean? Balance here for me is a really nice uh, forward kind of aromatic on it uh, without um, some like really silly flavors, like, you know, jumping out of glass. I mean, it's really silly that it smells like, it's really silly that the beer smells like this, but it's pitch black. Like I don't get any of the kind of like traditional stout notes. So it's like super aromatically strawberry, but on the palate, it has uh, really pretty flavors of uh, fresh and vibrant and uh, range of strawberry flavor with a really just like well put together stout underneath. And I guess the cream cheese and vanilla sort of round out the flavors. And the malt is not too overly forward. It's overly sticky. And as I wait, the strawberry just lingers and lingers and lingers. So that's where you find balance, where um, things sort of taste the way they should without it dominating or... And the base beer sort of sits to support that role. So that's what it is. It's, it's, it's the strawberry being a highlight and the base beer supports the role without just destroying the adjunct that you're pushing in. And they have other flavors in here that are almost, um, I, I'd argue like full blind, hard to find and see, but I guess, or taste, but they're there and they help the product. So that's balanced to me. And um, clear it's not a quote unquote balanced beer, but for what I want in this beer, it's elegant, it's balanced. So, um, it's very tasty, yeah. Uh, this is solid, very good. Um, Ninety-four? Ninety-four, ninety-four. That is the lovers from Hidden Springs. Um, had a lot of words to say about it, but again, it's it's a it's about you know explain to you guys, ignore the ratings, explain, <laughs> listen to me, and you know let me sort of like pick through the beer, and uh, I assume this is a beer that I think I probably saw at the brewery that like people weren't picking it up, and it might have been on a bomber that people weren't buying so that they can it, who knows whatever, but um, very tasty stuff, and uh, I think the label actually does a poor job at explaining it, you know I would say. Um, the label's gorgeous, obviously, by the way. But, I mean, obviously you should notice, like, you know, cream cheese, blah, blah, vanilla, but I see, I feel like cream cheese is off-putting for some people. So I would say, like, it's a strawberry imperial stout, pastry stout, and then just mention on the label, like, this is what else is in there. It's just a very pretty kind of, like, vanilla chocolate tart with some strawberry, with a lot of strawberries to it. It's a strawberry imperial stout, and... It's just tasty, man. The strawberry is so good in this beer. 
absolutely fantastic. 94 for me. Um, let me know what you guys think if you've had this one. Until next time, guys. Cheers later.